Welcome to this introductory video of the jQuery Basics course of Race Karate. Let's take a look back over some form and development history. Hundreds of internet years ago, if you wanted to style text on a web page, you had to use font tags and color attributes. HTML files were saturated. This was a maintenance nightmare. If you wanted to change the style of a web page that had 100 pages, you had to update the 100 pages manually. The internet gurus invented the CSS. It allows to manage website styles from one place. Something similar happened with JavaScript. JavaScript started to be used to improve user experience. However, there weren't standards for write JavaScript. So people was writing JavaScript included in the markup all over the place. Developers just didn't know any better. This, once more, made the HTML files were saturated and it was a headache make changes and maintenance to our websites. So the internet gurus applied the same concept of CSS in JavaScript. And by the mid-2000s, several pieces of software called JavaScript libraries were released. Some of them are Motools, Prototype, Doja, jQuery, and many others. But only one became the best choice for ad interactivity and better user experience, and that's jQuery. The front-end scheme now is as follows. HTML for the layout, structure, CSS for the appearance and styling, and JavaScript in the form of jQuery for behavior and interactivity. All in separate files. Concluding, jQuery is a JavaScript library. A library is just a collection of tools that allow us to implement functionalities or effects without the need of write all the code that is really needed for do it. In the jQuery Basics course of Race Karate, we'll learn all the bases that we need to add interactivity and enrich our Ruby on Race applications. We recommend that you, before to start with jQuery, take our previous courses, Ruby Basics and CoffeeScript Foundations. If you want to know more of these courses that we have for you and for free, go to racecarate.com, subscribe to our newsletter and to our YouTube channel. You can always drop us a line on Twitter or Facebook. See you the next lesson. Bye bye.